Hi, my name is Trevor and I'm a product specialist for combustion analysis at Emerson. Today I'll be walking you through how to replace the O2 cell in the Rosemont OCX 8800 oxygen and combustibles analyzer. Before you begin, be sure to have on hand the product manual, which can be found at the Emerson website. This is where you'll find all the necessary instructions and best practices for installation, calibration, and troubleshooting. Also, you will need to have the O2 cell replacement kit, which can be found in the replacement parts section of the manual. This kit contains an O2 cell, gaskets, socket head cap screws, and anti-seize compound. To help ensure safety during replacement, make sure the power is disconnected and all components have cooled to room temperature. To begin, loosen the screw on the locking clip with a 4mm Allen wrench and slide the locking clip away from the cover. Then retighten the screw. With two hands, loosen and remove the cover. Inspect the cover o-ring for wear or damage. If the o-ring is damaged, it will need to be replaced. Next, unsnap the terminal marking plates and remove the terminal insulator. Then remove the reference air tube from the sensor housing with a 7 16 wrench. Disconnect the O2 heater wires, O2 cell wires, and thermal cup wires from the terminal block. Now you can unscrew and remove the O2 assembly from the sensor housing. Remove and replace the gasket seated under the O2 assembly. Now that the assembly is free from the sensor housing, remove the four cap head screws from the O2 cell with a 5mm Allen wrench. The O2 cell can now be carefully removed from the heater tube. The cell flange has a notch that may be used to gently pry the flange away from the heater tube. If you feel resistance when removing the O2 cell, the O2 cell could be fused to the contact pad. If this occurs, push the O2 cell back into the heater tube and quickly twist the O2 cell. The cell and contact pad should separate. If the contact pad stays fused to the cell, you'll need to install a new heater strut assembly. Remove and discard the gasket. Clean the mating surface of the heater tube to ensure the surface is smooth and clean. Once clean, apply a small amount of anti-seize compound to the heater strut assembly and new O2 cell. Next, place the new gasket on the clean surface of the heater tube. Place the new O2 cell on top of the gasket and align the four screw holes. Apply a small amount of anti-seize compound to the screw threads. and use the screws to secure the new O2 cell to the heater tube. Torque the screws to 35 inch pounds. Now apply anti-seize compound to the threads of the O2 cell and heater strut assembly. 
Install the assembly in the sensor housing and tighten. Do not overly tighten. Reconnect the O2 heater wires, O2 cell wires, and thermocouple wires to the sensor housing terminal blocks. Install the reference air tube in the sensor housing. Make sure the open end of the reference air tube extends into the heater tube of the O2 cell and heater strut assembly. Next, install the insulator and use the terminal marking place to secure it in place. Reinstall the sensor cover, taking care to avoid cross-threading. Finally, loosen the screw on the locking clip, slide the clip back into place, and retighten the screw. Refer to the manual for instructions on reinstalling and calibrating your analyzer. This completes the overview of how to replace the O2 cell in the Rosemont OCX 8800 oxygen and combustibles analyzer.